Welcome to our review on preventing diseases. First thing we need to understand then are four key terms and their meanings. So our first one is an infectious disease. So whenever we're talking about an infectious disease, we're talking about one that's caused by microorganisms that have invaded the body. A parasite is a harmful microorganism that's going to gain nutrients and shelter while living inside a body. The host is the organism in which those parasites are living. And a non-infectious disease is one that's not caused by parasites. So these are the ones that don't spread from person to person. If we consider the non-infectious diseases first of all, what we'll find is that these can be caused by a variety of different things. So the first one is a deficiency of certain vitamins. So I've given you the example of scurvy there, which is why whenever you watch these Pirates of the Caribbean films, then it's so not reality. At the end of the day, if the Pirates of the Caribbean films were based in reality, then Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp wouldn't have looked half as good as they did, because they wouldn't have had enough vitamin C in their diet, which means that they'd have had lots of sores, missing teeth, etc., as a result of suffering from scurvy. But that doesn't quite sell so well in film. Second one there we've got is a deficiency of minerals, and that would be things like anemia, which is caused by a lack of iron in your diet. You'd have body disorders, so this could be things like diabetes or cancer. And then finally, you've got the inherited diseases. So these are the ones caused by your own genes. Now, the example I've given you there is the red-green colour blindness. If we consider cancer then, what we know, hopefully, is that there are many different types of cancer. So cancers can occur all over the body. Now, what cancer actually is, is where the cells in your body have just started to divide and then they've just carried on dividing. So what they've actually done is by dividing in that uncontrolled manner and they just keep making more and more new cells, they actually form this abnormal mass, which is what the tumour actually is. There are several things that you can actually do in your life to reduce your risk of developing cancer. First one is by not smoking. So we know that cigarettes contain a whole host of different chemicals, many of which are known to cause cancer. So if we don't smoke, we reduce our risk of developing cancer. We can also avoid burning our skin and sunbathing for very long periods of time throughout our lives, because that's going to make us more prone to skin cancer. So obviously make sure we use our sun creams and stay out of the sun when it's at its hottest point is going to help minimize that risk there. If we avoid eating too much fat and maintaining a healthy body weight, again, this is going to reduce our risk of developing a variety of different types of cancer. We should also try to avoid eating too much red meat and processed foods, and we should eat lots of fruit and vegetables in our diet. If we also take some regular exercise and avoid drinking too much alcohol, then that will greatly reduce the risk of us developing cancer throughout our life. Now, it's not to say that you won't ever develop cancer if you do all of these things. It just reduces your risk of ever developing cancer.